now he's spiritually attracted to you? What type of fucking disrespect? What the fuck is a spiritually attracted to somebody? I ain't never heard of that shit in my fucking life. Nails, hair, hips, heels, ass, fat, lips, real, purse, full, big bills, bitch, I'm a big deal. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, you know why you're here. You saw the title, you saw the thumbnail. We are talking about Married at First Sight, episode 6. Also known as The Kristen Page Show. So, I know it's been a while. To be honest with you, I wasn't sure if I was going to record this video because you know what you just feel like, you know what it is, there's levels to this reality TV shit and when something just seems too ghetto, I really just don't know how to respond to it. Um, a part of me feels really invested in the show and then another part of me feels like I'm getting played. But I'm not going to skip another one. We're going to get into this, and I'm going to just combine um, episode 5 and 6 together, but let's get into the ghetto-ness, because it's some bullshit. I decided I'm going to do things differently. We're going to start off with Chris and Paige, because let's be real. They are the center of the show. Um, it's unfortunate that it takes away from some of the other cast members right now. Hopefully, there's other things going on with the other cast members that, you know, the drama is, like, equally divided. But for right now, it's the Kristen Page show. And the other people are the background dancers, unfortunately. So, I got my notes. Mm -hmm. We have our notes here. Front and back. So, let's get into it, guys. For episode six, right? This is the stuff that I have to say about Kristen Page. Number one, what a dick. Like, this guy cannot be serious. I can't tell if he's sincere or not. Like, he's apologizing one second, and then the next second, he's telling her that he's been talking to his baby mother on the side about getting back together and about having a family and how if he wants to go back, he can go back. Like, as a black woman, I feel so so embarrassed and I feel like it's so cringy watching these two as a unit like if there is a way for you Paige to possibly see this video and to give me a sign give me a, a, a DM or something saying that you are under contract and you're forced to stay through this bullshit just please let me know because I just really don't know what the fuck to make of this Seriously, like he constantly disrespects Paige so many times. It's so freaking frustrating to watch. Forget being a black woman. I think just as any woman, it's frustrating to freaking watch. Like what the hell is he doing and why the hell is she freaking staying? One of the things that did bother me that he said this time um, in this episode was about when they were talking about joint accounts. And I just feel like the whole 50-50 thing if you end up doing it in your relationship, fine. But to, like, just have a conversation like that, especially when you make more money than her, it's like, why can't you guys have joint accounts? Are you scamming? Are you committing fraud? What is the issue with having a joint account with her? Like, she's your wife. One account, one money, paying the bills, whatever. Like, I just don't understand why he's such a stickler for that. Like, that is so freaking weird. This guy is so weird he's so fucking weird he's so weird he's so insincere he's just oh my god he's so irritating to watch i'm not even gonna lie he's so freaking frustrating and irritating to watch another thing too that i will say i just feel like he's slowly trying to back away from Paige, but some way somehow she finds a way to make an excuse for him so maybe he just feels bad for her and then and ends up staying like he said that he still loves his ex that he wants to make a family with her but then he says that he made vows to her you guys just see how it just feels so scripted like this can't be real life like in real life things like this don't just happen like he just says whatever because I feel like there is no consequences for his actions. I feel like there maybe really are under contract where people can't leave because as we know in the past, people just leave when they don't like something. They don't even finish out the freaking season. It could be like right after the honeymoon and they just leave and they don't come back. So maybe that's the reason why she's staying. But this whole, her vow to God and she's believing the experts. And I do believe that the experts pair them for a reason. I do believe that they would be able to complement each other. But at the same time, I do believe that if it's 
does if it's not working it's not working and right now it's not working there's a different circumstance he still loves his ex-fiance he does not love you right now now he's spiritually attracted to you what type of fucking disrespect what the fuck is a spiritually attracted to somebody i ain't never heard of that shit in my fucking life all in all i just wish that they would just be done with each other because it's really sad and it's hard to watch but you know i almost gave up on the show but i'm gonna keep on watching because can't let you guys down i just can't the next thing that i want to talk about is the conversation now y'all know the conversation that i'm talking about the conversation between chris virginia clara was in it and eric was in it now we don't like chris but virginia sit your fucking ass down somewhere mind your motherfucking business mind the business that pays you because this right here ain't it you don't want to go toe to toe with Chris. Girl, he will shred you to motherfucking pieces, girl. Mind your business, okay? Figure out what's going to happen with you and your man because y'all got problems of your own. Like, how many times this man got to tell you to fall back, give him space, give him privacy, let him figure out his shit, and you poke it, poke it. Claire is right. You poking the man, and then what you think is going to happen? He going to give you a lollipop? You ain't getting no lollipop, boo-boo. Eric is trying to back up his wife and everything, but you gotta let her know when she's wrong. She's a child. Put the child in her place. Okay? She just speaks out of turn. You think that you're, you ain't about nothing. That's not, that girl's not your friend. All right? Paige is not your friend. Paige got her group of friends. All right? And it ain't you. <laughs> Y'all ain't in the same lane. Stick to what you know, which is drinking. Please, mind your business. Clara knew when to step the fuck back. Why the fuck can't you read? You can't read the room, sis. Read the fucking room. That's what your ass got cursed out. And when they were all talking, like, kind of by the dock, I just felt so embarrassed for her because, like, are we going? And she's like, yeah, let's just go. Girl, you should have checked his ass right there on site. But, again, it seems like she took care of it later on because during dinner time he did apologize and stuff like that and then of course the other two came late and he want to come now and I have balls like what was your balls at the dock because you knew his ass would have tossed you in that motherfucking lake but now that everything is all you know calm and you, she probably checked you like why don't you protect me my daddy and my brother would have protect now you want to come up and get some balls my boy Eric sit your ass down Sit your ass down, all right? Because the time has already passed. The time has already passed for you to buck up on somebody, all right? It wasn't the time. It was already dead and over, and he was apologizing. Had y'all not been late like y'all always late, you would have heard the apology. And then Ryan tried to let you know, but you still want to be opening up your mouth talking shit. Like, shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, Brianna and Vincent. Um, I am very proud of Vincent for kind of standing up for himself and letting her know, like, things that he liked and he didn't like. Like, I get it that she's bossy and she keeps on saying I'm bossy, I'm bossy, but girl, it's not cute to be bossy. Like, it's not a good characteristic trait. It's something that you have and you acknowledge that you are bossy, but it's not something to continue to brag about because it could be very frustrating when you're in a relationship with somebody and you keep on doing bossy like shit and then using the excuse like, well, you know, I'm bossy, but it's not cute. Like, you know what I mean? It comes off very disrespectful to your man. And, you know, hopefully, you know, as time goes on, she starts to learn some, that, you know what I mean? That part of it. Um, but, again, she's used to being by herself. She's used to being single. But this is something you're going to have to adjust to. You're just going to have to learn, girl. You know what I mean? Leave the bossy stuff behind. But other than that, I really still do like them as a couple. I really think that they will go far. And I'm really, really happy that he spoke up for himself. Because I remember saying in the beginning that I didn't think that that was kind of like his style to speak up. But... I'm glad that he said, you know, you better go, boy. And Clara and Ryan, only thing I will say about this is I think that she's very submissive, which isn't a bad thing necessarily, but, you know, he's definitely a different kind of guy and little by little we're slowly seeing more and more ryan's real personality and what he expects in his wife and i think more and more clara's kind of being taken back by it but i think that she wants a marriage and i think that she wants it to work so, like very much so i think that she's gonna you know learn to compromise some of the stuff that she wants and um maybe even give a little bit more than he's going to give in um in terms of sacrificing um and compromising um because it just seems like he kind of you know ex has a lot of expectations of her and of a wife and um she she won't have to saddle up girl because 
He is a good man, but girl, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to follow suit, sis. You know, learn to follow suit. But again, I still do like Clara and Ryan as a couple. I think that they're a beautiful couple. I really still think that they can work, you know, if they put the work in. And um, yeah, we're gonna keep on watching them and um, um, see what else that they got, they got going on. Haley and Jacob. This girl, she showed her ass this episode. She showed her ass episode six, all right? Haley, you sleep with a man and then you realize that you need space? How? I feel really bad for Jacob this episode. I feel like because they had sex, he expected somewhat more of a connection in terms of her and in terms of her being comfortable, but it just seemed like she's pulling back more. I think it's really fucked up that all the husbands and the wives were out that night and she told him that it was gonna be a girl's thing only until when he went downstairs, he saw them together and she kind of booted from him. That shit is mad embarrassing and it's hurtful. Like. I just don't understand what's up with everybody just like treating everybody like shit and being so inconsiderate. Like, were you guys raised on a barn? Like, why are people like treating everybody like animals? Like, I just think that's really, really messed up. And I just don't understand what these people think that they signed up for. Everybody's complaining and saying like, oh, you know, I'm so used to being by myself. And da -da. But you said that this is why you were getting married, that you didn't want to be by yourself. Now they found you guys somebody to be with and you guys make the excuse while well, you're used to doing this and this in a particular way but you said that you don't want to do these things alone anymore and now that you guys have somebody you're treating them like shit. I don't get it. I, 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 somebody help me understand because I don't understand. I really don't understand that. But those two, I don't know what's going to happen with them. She is either going to wake up or she's not and they will get a divorce and she will continue to be single and then all the other women in this world are going to be all up in his DMs because he seems like a great guy. He has his quirks and everything, you know, he's a little quirky, but um you know, he seems like he's a good guy so regardless if it doesn't work with Haley, there will be girls in his DMs. So, it will be her loss. He got a sauna in his house. And then Virginia and Eric, these two, I just don't know what the hell he's thinking. It's like a daddy situation going on. Like, that, that, that that's her daddy. And, um, you know, he don't want to, he can't even hang. He can't even drink that much. Like, she want to party, she want to drink. She's crying to freaking Clara about, you know, he's jealous and I can't have guy friends. I'm like, girl, if you want a guy friend, then why you come over here trying to get married? Like, I don't understand what these people want. Nobody wants to sacrifice for a marriage. It's not like you guys got to give up so much. It's like, what kind of relationships were you guys in before that you guys don't realize sacrifices that you have to make in order to make your relationship work? Like, now you're married. Like, I just want to say all the complaining and stuff. Another thing, too, Eric needs to learn to raise his daughter right. And I say this because Virginia had no right coming up into that dinner and first thing out, she says that her mouth is, I want to drink, you want to drink, Paige? That was disrespectful. Virginia is gonna get Eric fucked up, all right? Cause now look at what happened. Now everybody is on Chris and Paige's side and nobody's on Eric and Virginia's side. Everybody thinks that you guys were out of line because you guys were. You need to check her because she's gonna get you beat up in a bar or something because her ass expects people, she expects to just talk and run her mouth like the kid that she is and somebody's supposed to save her. So guys, that's all that I have for this episode 6 of Married at First Sight. Um, again, I'm just really truly not feeling the show right now just because I feel like it's so freaking scripted and I feel like the experts are just throwing shit together. Like, it, it's, it's, it's so frustrating. Like, again, we like a little bit of drama. Don't get me wrong. We all like a little bit of drama, but we want the drama to feel kind of natural. And right now, it just feels really, really just fucked up like on a different level like if it's not working don't make them stay if it's not working but again i digress because the show's already been recorded and right now we're just giving our thoughts and opinions on what it is so far so whatever it is now hopefully for the next season that they do better because um this right here ain't it so i will see you guys on thursday for another video bye